Welcome to Trend Hive, where we delve into the latest news and developments on world affairs, international relations, and technology. In today's video, we'll be discussing Mexico's potential move to join the BRICS group of like minded states that have been reshaping international relations for the past decade. As the world becomes more interconnected, and globalized countries are seeking to align themselves with others that share their values and goals, Mexico's interest in joining the BRICS group is a clear example of this trend, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. To show your support, don't forget to activate the bell notification option to stay up to date with our latest videos on current events and global affairs that have a direct impact on our daily lives Let's get started. Mexico, the second largest economy in South America after Brazil, has considered a possible partnership with the BRICS countries being an important country for the group in several aspects. According to Andrew Serban, executive director of Cries and counselor of the Argentine Council of International Relations, the main economic driving forces within BRICS are represented by the growing economies of China and India, and by the increasing coordination within the Rice Sea, Russia, India, China. Group Mexico is a strategic partner for these countries as it is geographically close to the United States and has a strong economic relationship with its neighbor to the north. Mexico is the second largest economy in Latin America after Brazil, and it has a population of more than 120 million. People is also a member of the North. American Free Trade Agreement NAFTA with the United States and Canada, which has allowed for a significant increase in trade and investment in the region. This makes Mexico an attractive market for BRICS countries looking to expand their economic reach beyond the borders. In addition, Mexico is a member of the Pacific Alliance, which is a regional trade agreement that includes Chile, Colombia and Peru. This agreement has been praised for its openness to foreign investment and for promoting economic integration in the region BRICS. Countries have expressed interest in working with the Pacific Alliance and Mexico's participation in this group could provide an opportunity for closer economic ties with BRICS. Mexico has also been a supporter of multilateralism and has advocated for the reform of international institutions, such as the United Nations and the World Trade Organization. This aligns with the goals of BRICS countries, which have called for a more balanced global governance system that reflects the interests of developing countries. Mexico has a lot to gain from joining the BRICS. The country is the second largest economy in Latin America and has a strategic location between North and South America making it an important trade partner for both regions Mexico. Also has significant natural resources, a strong manufacturing sector, and a growing middle class, making it an attractive market for the BRICS countries. In recent years, Mexico has increased its trade ties with the BRICS countries. In 2020, Mexico's trade with the BRICS countries was worth $56.3 billion accounting for 13 of the country's total. Trade China is Mexico's largest trading partner among the BRICS, followed by Brazil, Russia, India, and South Africa. Mexico has also signed several agreements with the BRICS countries to promote cooperation in various areas, such as trade investment, education, and culture. For example, Mexico and Brazil signed an agreement in 2021 to promote the use of digital technologies in agriculture and rural development Mexico and Russia signed an agreement in 2019 to strengthen cooperation in the fields of energy mining and aerospace. However, Mexico faces several challenges in joining the BRICS. The group was formed in 2006 as an economic bloc with the goal of challenging the dominance of the Western countries in the global economy. While Mexico shares some similarities with the BRICS in terms of economic size, and potential it is not a part of the group's original vision. Moreover, the BRICS countries have different political systems, cultural backgrounds, and economic priorities, 
which could make it difficult for Mexico to find a common ground with them. To join the BRICS, Mexico would need to demonstrate its commitment to the group's goals and principles, such as promoting economic growth, reducing poverty, and enhancing cooperation among member countries. Mexico would also need to show how it can contribute to the group's agenda and benefit from its membership. This could involve developing closer ties with the BRICS countries in areas such as energy infrastructure and technology and promoting trade and investment between them. Experts see the group as a center of the emerging multipolar world free from the global hegemony of the West. We will explore the chances of Mexico joining BRICS and what mechanisms can be applied for cooperation in the field of medicine. Mexico is currently not a member of BRICS, but the group is open to expansion. The healthcare system in Mexico is a combination of public and private. Providers' public officials have access to their own health scheme while workers within the formal labor market also have. Their system, these systems are funded mainly by workers' contributions and provide a range of healthcare services, including primary and high complexity. Attention, the Mexican government has taken initiatives to strengthen the public healthcare system into universal coverage and publicly funded schemes. Mexico has a tradition of using herbal-based medicine, and there is a discipline in the medical field that studies the use of such treatments the government has given grants and supports projects that study natural medicines. There is support from the government in the use of such methods, especially in primary care attention as it is reasoned by their legal framework, as well as the knowledge and customs of their native population although there is no cooperation between Chinese traditional medicine and Mexican traditional medicine methods, it would be interesting to see regarding the COVID-19 pandemic, the Mexican government implemented several protocols to combat the pandemic. The main measures were to keep all workers from non-essential services at home. Essential workers such as healthcare providers had to apply measures such as keeping a safe distance constantly, disinfecting surfaces constantly washing, hands using facial masks and protected glasses and guaranteeing sufficient equipment and medications for hospitals. The Mexican government's attitude towards the use of natural medicine has been positive as there is a discipline that studies the use of such treatments and there is support from the government in the use of such methods, especially in primary care attention. In the field of medicine, there were opportunities for cooperation between Mexico and the BRICS countries Mexico's. Tradition in the use of herbal-based medicine could be shared with other countries such as Brazil, India and China, which also have a tradition of using natural medicines. There is also an opportunity for collaboration in the development of new drugs and treatments for diseases, for example, in the Center of Biotechnology of the Monterey Institute of Technology. In the north of Mexico, studies were conducted on the effectiveness of natural medicines. The positive results of the long-term work of 100 scientists from Mexico and other Latin American countries became possible due to the isolation of substances from agave bean sorghum, cordyflower corn, and mawakata shrub that prevent the development of carcinogenic cells, drugs intended for the treatment of breast, cull, and prostate. And liver cancers have been tested and are awaiting approval for their sale in Mexico and the United States. Mexico has chances to join the BRICS group, but it will not be fast the health. Care system in Mexico is a combination of public and private providers, and there is a tradition of using herbal-based medicine the Mexican government has taken initiatives to strengthen the public health care system into universal coverage and publicly funded schemes in the field of medicine. There were opportunities for cooperation between Mexico and the BRICS countries, especially in the development of new drugs and treatments for diseases. As we wrap up this discussion for today, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button too. Help us create more content that caters to your interests. Also make sure to turn on the bell notification feature to stay 
updated whenever we post new videos on current Global Affairs International relations and their impact on our daily lives. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, take care and stay informed.